Hey everyone, this is Peter247 from Project Ghost with another War Dragon's Diary. So PvP shields are still up. Um, today we did decide to walk away from a castle. Um, it is Sparta, the castle where all the fighting was happening. As you can see here, I've surrendered it to an alt team and told the team to pull off. And our best friends are parked all around it right now. So. Um, I'm not too worried about that. They'll conquer it. Um, these guys will probably die unless they move. Um, but you know, that's okay. This was their focus point and this is how it all began. It was this castle um, and this was the one in question where um, we were getting in the way or interfering. Um, so that's where everything started. So we'll see what happens at PvP bubble drop. Um, I have been told that, you know, the target's not going to stop unless I give them X, Y, and Z. But, hey, sucks to be me, right? So, um, as you can see down here below as well, um, our TA, which used to be here, has moved out as well. Um, so I'm expecting, probably, most likely, you know, uh, this TA is going to take this castle and then they're going to flood all the way into here to all these castles. So uh, we'll see how things go. Um, I'm hoping we'll get a little break, but I'm not trying not, I'm trying not to be that optimistic uh, because we're, we still have these two mothers. So um, we'll see how it goes and you guys will see as well because I'm doing these daily. I am sorry for the late... Um, posting today the late upload of my vlog um, I was helping my brother as you all know a couple weeks ago um, I was helping him with his move and he still has a lot of crap in his house so I was there again um, helping him move stuff out today so um, in the PvP we are throwing it we remain to be in the bottom five um, of our league which is okay we don't expect any more uh, we told everyone get to the 82,000 and stop. A few people have gotten to the 82,000. A few people are taking their time, but they're doing what's most important, and that is resting, uh, because we've had a very busy month of Atlas. And as we all know, PvP last uh, last PvP was. Um, we had a war going in. We were busy through Atlas, uh, through the Atlas week. Then we had a war, and then we moved into pushing hard in the event. So players were getting burnt out, not to mention we got hit hard in Atlas as well. So um, as you can see here, I'm just at about 60,000. I'm almost there. I'll probably get there. It'll take a little while. Still working on it. Uh, 492 sigils, just going to quickly use that, see where we get. Gold chests. Let's see if that's enough to open something. No, it is not. Um, yeah, so on my end, not much happening in the game. Um, but I am spending a lot of time outside of the game, you know, making plans, um, seeing how things are going to be progressing uh, I'm just gonna go for the easy one so one thing a lot of people were talking about is um, if you're just going for the end point value and you don't worry about blitzing through the event or anything the top 10 multiplier pick easy bases you know look at the roster look at the bottom ones unless you're against a really big team where the bases are too big and you're unable to do it but for the dragons that you can't fly that well for the times 10 multiplier fly the bottom a bottom base that you can handle so if you look here uh, let's go for this 93 base and just fly the basic one it's a waste to do you use your super or your mega and um, let's see how we do here so I'm gonna use a weaker dragon. Let's use Malak. So I'm gonna see how I do with this uh, dragon. Um, 
bass is still you know relatively decent as we all know i'm not that good with this dragon but hey we're gonna try it anyways probably have no more rage by the time i get up there but that's why we have sacrifice um so there's a lot of dragons i usually keep two or three dragons in my roster um which sometimes creates problems for me because when they're all um, currently needing to be healed or reviving oh dear yeah that really sucked but that's okay we'll finish it off with a bigger dragon um, There we go. I don't really care. I'm just going to quit at 70%. I'm not going to worry about wildfire. Um, so, yeah, picking a smaller base and trying to get to the 70%, that'll give you about a thousand points. And, you know, every six hours, these rounds are changing. So, um, if you can get to that 70%, then. Uh, it gives you about a thousand points because it multiplies it by 100. So I'm going to try a smaller base with the same weak dragon. And let's see how we do. Ah. Ah, might as well. Here's my Kralos. Kralos could probably get 70% on a bigger base, but... Um, I'm looking for speed and it being easier. Now, one thing with this, it doesn't have to be your first dragon that gets to 100%. So you could very well, um, you know, fly with a backer, uh, go through, sand everything or disable everything, and then fly through with a killer dragon with some sort of death gaze. And um, clean up from there. So I know a lot of people on our team have been doing that uh, for the extra points. Um, I'm not because, you know, I'm just lazy and I just want it to be over because I've been very frustrated and I'm just tired. So anyways, this is, um, went through, picked the easiest base on the roster. It gives me the least points but it still gives me about 1,000. So that's about 10,000 points per round. And if you look at 17 rounds, that's about 170,000 points just from flying the multipliers on the easiest base there. So right now we're in diamond one, so the easiest base is still pretty difficult for your really bad dragons or ones that you don't use or haven't leveled or whatnot. Um, but the... Um, but if you're in a smaller league, you know, you may have really itty bitty players, whether it be an alt in a team or something like that. I don't know if they want to push for this, but hey, I'll use a super. Um, so, um, it could be very beneficial for that. If you're taking a break or something like that, make sure you're trying to use all of your multipliers, um, as I'm taking a break, there's been a lot of rounds that I have been uh, sitting out on and not even doing or participating in, in uh, participating in. So um, I just wanted to get to the 82,000. I wish if I had more patience and stuff, I probably would have um, pushed for a little higher because it is free points but um, I've been trying to relax, so. Oh dear. Yeah, I died. 41%, but hey. So I'll follow up with a bigger dragon and I'll finish it. I did very poorly, but we all know that 
I am a very bad flyer when I'm doing my vlogs, so it's not a secret, I'm not ashamed. Um, I usually fly better when I'm not focused on trying to talk while I fly. So um, if you're looking for the extra points, once again, it's very easy to get 82,000 points and nobody can say, I don't have the resources or unifiers to get there because that's just a lot of crap. Um, because you can fly the smallest base and not even put much effort or time into the event and still get to 82,000 on this one just because of the way it's set up with the times 10 multiplier. Um, there are a few things that are a little frustrating, or at least I find frustrating, that's the um, amount of health that these crystals have. They tend to disappear very quickly, especially when people are using Megas or whatnot, which, hey, maybe I should just use Megas and get to that. There you go. See, we are at 50%, and by the time this finished, it was already done. It was my team that finished it, so it's great. I think this one was into, yep, increasing the dragon's attack by 1%, uh, but still, that's just one extra attack that I need uh, to do. So, anyways, I'm not gonna sit here and, and make you listen to me complaining about my frustration of this event. Um, as always, if you have any questions or topics you'd like me to bring up in a vlog, um, please, post it in the uh, comments and I'll be sure to bring it up at a future time. <gasps> I have over 8,000 rubies. And before I let you all go, we're gonna open up more Draconic chests and see how we do. Uh, this is a really crappy pull. Should have saved it. Oh well, once again, it sucks to be me. Um, so thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit like button. Don't forget to hit subscribe and have a good remainder of the weekend. I'll talk to you all tomorrow, uh, by which time I should probably have some more sigils and more bonuses for us to open up together. And we've got the next, uh, PVP bubble drop on Monday to look forward to. So I'm going to enjoy the last two days of my break and I'll talk to you all later. Have a great evening, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye for now.